Welcome back. It's the one in the rush on Metro Television. We are talking about One Heart for Dialysis Campaign, and we have Eugene Osei, and he's the founder of One Heart Care. He's no stranger to this place. I mean, he's our very friend. But then he said, according to him, he was here last last year. I don't remember. But anyways, Eugene, how are you? I'm doing very well. How are you? I'm also good. I mean, how's work? I try to work. Before we talk about uh, the campaign, uh, you are embarking on. Let's talk about work. Because the last time you were here, you said it was 2020. Yeah, that was last year, 2023. Yeah. yeah so, Tell us uh, about how, how has work been? Work has been very good, very um, challenging, very mm -hmm. interesting. Mm -hmm. um, challenging in the sense that, you know, we all know the way the economy yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we enjoy the things we do yeah. as much as it's tough. Mm -hmm. We still enjoy it. That's good. I'm, I'm glad you enjoy it because if you don't enjoy it, you stop doing it. <laughs> but then you are embarking on a campaign that is One Heart for Dialysis. Yes. Tell us about this. It's a charitable campaign. Yes. Tell us yes. about it. What, what's the mission and um, what do you seek to attain the primary objective? Fantastic. So um, we all know the issues that are facing um, renal patients. Yeah. And so um, me for one, I've been very, I mean, I'm kind of tired of we sitting behind the, um, the fence, always complaining and always mm -hmm. asking if um, when help is going to come yeah. in those ways. So um, I, I just called um, a few of my friends mm -hmm. and said, listen, um, why don't we come together and help raise funds for mm -hmm. renal patients? Mm -hmm. So one heart for dialysis is basically all of us join our hearts for a good cause, a common mm -hmm. cause, which is to raise funds for mm -hmm. uh, renal patients. And our target is 100 million. Uh, Ghana cities. Wow. Yes, which is it's a lot, but it is attainable. Yes, yeah, attainable. It's uh, a lot, but it's attainable. <laughs> yes. Well, I have a very simple formula, right? Okay. Um, if one million of us mm -hmm. would uh, just pick up our phones and donate 100 Ghana cities, okay. I think we will attain it in, a, in about an hour, right? Wow. The yes, whole population. Yeah, we attain it two million. That's true, yeah. Exactly. So, so if just one million one of million. us come out to do this, yeah. we should attain it in Maybe in an hour. <laughs> That's good. That's why you are, you are asking us to. Is that one heart care? It's a one if heart. really, yeah. really, we are really genuine and yes. we want to help a brother, we can really do that. We but can really do that. you know what? In Ghana, we face um, healthcare challenges when it, when it comes to I mean dialysis and everything. Let's highlight some of the challenges these patients actually face. Yeah. Maybe sometimes people do not really have a view or they don't understand what exactly is going on on ground. Yes. So as someone who is embarking on this charity yeah. campaign, highlight some of the struggles that these dialysis patients actually go through in Ghana. So um, I think that um, the challenges may be about three, mm -hmm. three major ones, which is uh, the machines, mm -hmm. obviously lack of uh, the equipment mm -hmm. uh, and then the consumables. But uh, top of the chain is the cost. The cost. The cost okay. involved. Because okay. there, um, there are some of the hospitals that have, you know, adequate machines, mm -hmm. but then the cost involved in yeah, getting treatment is very high. It's yeah. so expensive. Mm -hmm. And that is the reason why we are actually embarking on this, mm -hmm. you know, this journey. Mm -hmm. and we are not focusing on actually equipping the, um, the facilities, yeah. but actually to help the people pay. Yeah. So even if uh, there's a facility that has like two or three equipment, mm -hmm. but uh, can serve the people, mm -hmm. Can the people afford? That's yeah. the major problem. Yeah. That's what we are seeking to, you know, to, um, achieve. to achieve. First of all, help the people pay. Mm -hmm. And if we have excess, then we can use the excess to help the hospitals mm -hmm. acquire more machines. But when you say help the people pay, is it previous patients that are on dialysis that cannot afford their bill? Or people who are now coming in? So is it like you're going to clear the, the debt of these dialysis patients? or someone is diagnosed and has to go through that process, then you assist in terms of payments. Maybe the person pays 50% you, your um, NGO or organization takes 50%. How is it like? Okay, so currently we are working with the numbers, the mm -hmm. registered numbers, mm -hmm. so the existing um, patients. Yeah. Those are the ones we are working with currently. Okay. So going forward, mm -hmm. the new ones that come on board okay. will also, you know, um, add them mm -hmm. to the numbers that we have. Mm -hmm. So for instance, like I said, we are raising, we are seeking to raise 100 million. 100 million. So if along the line, 500 more people join, Joins. then we have to increase our target mm -hmm. for the year. Mm -hmm. So that is what we are going we're doing. to do. Yeah, How, so. What's the cost? For a patient? For a patient. So currently, averagely, they are paying about uh, 350 cities per session. Um, and um, on average, depending on the, mm -hmm. the severity of mm -hmm. the patient, uh, a patient may need uh, twice mm -hmm. uh, um, session in mm -hmm. a week. Mm -hmm. And so 
if you do your plus and minus, a patient is spending above 2,000 cities in a month. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have over 1,000 um, over 1,100 uh, pa registered patients across the country. Mm -hmm. And so if you do your math, that's about close to uh, 93 million Ghana cities. Ghana here. cities here. Yeah. I, I was reading the synopsis you, you sent to us, yes. and it says over 90% of Ghanaians' kidney fa failure um, patients who stand the chance of receiving dialysis are not getting it. Now, global estimates suggest that Ghana should have around 15,400 patients requiring yeah. dialysis. Yeah. However, the current number of patients receiving dialysis is 1,195. Yes. And it says yes. this represents 7.8% of the estimated demand of life-saving yes. treatment. Yes. That means we are below. We are very below. We are very, very below as a, as hey, a country. As a country. <laughs> we are very, very below. Uh, <laughs> and even those that um, have been registered, yeah. just 1,195. Some can't pay, yes. you know, there are not adequate machines mm -hmm. and all, all the issues that come with it. So it tells you the, um, the severity of what of is going exactly, on. Exactly. So it's, uh, we, are, we could say that we are much more like in a state of emergency. Um, we are. Yes. Not so much more. We yeah. are. When you say sessions, like a, a patient who need a session within yeah. a week or something, yeah. a session is it an hour? Or two hours, or how so, is it um, like? So, yeah, it also depends. Um, okay. So, between an hour, uh, some go more than two hours, mm -hmm. obviously. Some go like four hours mm -hmm. per session. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, uh, the machine will actually have to clean your blood, mm -hmm. you know, take yeah. out all the, you know, basically the functions of the kidneys. That is not working. The exactly, machine will do that. Does, yeah. You know, for, for each patient. So, a patient may be required to do that once a week mm -hmm. or twice a week, mm -hmm. depending on the, so, um, the severity. The of the, severity of the. the yes. um, the whatever is going on. I mean, you also touched on centers. Yes. Across Ghana, before we talk about regional representation of the dialysis patients in Ghana, across Ghana, can we say that every region has like machines, equipment to take care of these patients? Yeah, we could. Yeah, we can say that every region has, mm -hmm. but um, is it proportional? Mm -hmm. Is it um, is it adequate? Mm -hmm. No. No. You know, because okay. obviously some regions have more than the other others, regions. I, yes. I know I know the Greater Africa region has more than the, the rest of the mm -hmm. of the regions. Mm -hmm. And also um, it also depends on the um, the number of patients mm -hmm. you know that meet such requirements. But regardless of the fact, across the country mm -hmm. we don't have adequate machines yeah. to treat dialysis patients. That's that's the fact. That's the fact on, the on fact the ground. Mm -hmm. And if you check the reg regional representation of that uh, dialysis patients in Ghana, in Greater Accra there's 875. Yes. Ashanti region has 96. Bono East has 12. Bono yeah. has four. Central has 53. Eastern has 25. Northern has 90. Water has 20. And Western has yeah. 20. Registered. Oh, registered. Yes. These are Capture. the registered. Yeah, registered. Non-registered. We can't. We can't. Even we count. can't. Yes, we can't tell. Uh, and can't they, tell. In this this we this issue tell. is and, um, really this is this uh, this is very interesting. Last year when we we started putting the plans mm -hmm. together and everything. That was when I actually had, had a call that a friend had passed on uh, due to kidney failure. Mm -hmm. And I said, no, then this is, I really, really have to, you know, we you really have to take, yeah, yeah. take this thing very seriously. Because it can happen to any of us. Yeah. Just last weekend, um, um, I saw a news article of a three-year-old who is on dialysis mm -hmm. in, the, in the Volta region. Mm -hmm. And I think they have issues with their machines. They need more machines. Yeah. So imagine a parent having to, you know, Foot the bill of a three year old baby, yeah. uh, you know, put all the care that mm -hmm. that baby needs. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, um, it's very stressful. So, for us, um, we want to build a community mm -hmm. that cares for each other. Yeah. And if there's um, anything that uh, COVID 19 has taught us mm -hmm. as a nation, is that we, it's about time we take care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I like um, the, um, the quotes you shared this morning because mm -hmm. it was something I was actually thinking yeah, about. Yeah, when you change your yeah, you need to change, change your mindset your, yeah. and change your world. Yeah. And as people, we need to stop being dependent, mm -hmm. always waiting for help to come to mm -hmm. us. We can help ourselves. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But ourselves. but even for that one, sometimes help has to be given from the government side. Because I remember last year, letter of 2023, Prof. Uh, 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 is it something? Mm -hmm. He's the professor for Ghana Kidney Association, yeah. was lamenting yes. about these dialysis patients. Yes. He was talking about affordability is a major challenge, a major challenge in the yeah. country. So what is the government supposed to do about it? Have you um, spoken to these stakeholders? And when you speak to them, what are the responses? Because 
they will complain about it that oh maybe the things are in the pipeline and stuff but since you are embarking on this campaign yeah. have you had the opportunity to sit with some of these stakeholders interact with them and ask them the tough questions that why are you not helping these patients you mean the, the, the government the government yes so, any um, stakeholder you have actually uh, yes, spoken so to because this campaign is big you yes, can't it do is. it on your own yes. you need people's support yes so definitely. that's what i'm asking have you moved to them to ask them that well, well, so how we tried, are they helping? Yeah, we tried, we tried, we tried so many times uh, getting in touch with the um, Ministry of Health, mm -hmm. uh, but um, we were not able to get uh, an audience. Mm -hmm. But then again, um, wow. yes. you didn't know <laughs> what you were coming to talk about. <laughs> well, yes, we, we made them know what we were coming to talk. But about. But still, we yeah. In fact, I actually, actually had a, the number for uh, the, the health minister's number. Okay. Tried reaching a, a couple of times, but um, we all form, form part of the government, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, those in power are just leaders. They yeah. are leading the entire government. Yeah. And so we don't always have to, yes, they have their, what they have to do, but we have to do what we have to do exactly. as well. Exactly. You know, we have to protect ourselves first. We have to care for ourselves first. That's true. And when we are done, we can now hold them accountable exactly. for not doing what they have to Supposed do. To do. Yeah. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? And so for me, or for us, we are not waiting for the central government mm -hmm. or our leaders to, mm -hmm. you know, do what they have to. We are, we are, we are all leaders. Yeah. We are leader. I'm a leader, right? So that is what we have to say. Look, we, we have to save lives, and that's the most important That's the most important thing. <laughs> so so uh, it, it, <laughs> any amount you have, yes, just donate. Just so donate. Let, let's talk about the charity. Um, like, you, you've already given us the amount you are hoping yes, to. Yes, yeah, 100 million. 100 Ghana million. Ghana and I'm hoping that by the end of the show, we'll meet our target. <laughs> <laughs> you will. Amen. It yeah, will happen. It will happen. happen. So, amen is it that. going to be a bigger event? Yes, yes, it's going to be a bigger event. Okay, so uh, take us through how everything will fantastic. be. Fantastic. So, the Ola Plan, um, we, we, we launched, uh, we soft launched mm -hmm. actually uh, a month ago, I think. Um, we did a brief one on, on YouTube. Um, we have a theme song that we are working on. Okay. Um, we have a number of artists that have signed up mm -hmm. to be part of it. And uh, after that, we'll shoot, you know, bits and pieces of videos and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then we will have what we call the One Heart Music uh, Festival. Mm -hmm. That is also geared towards, we were hoping that by that time we'd have, you know, hit our target. So mm -hmm. we all celebrate. Yeah. It's supposed to be a celebration. Yeah. And also a fundraiser because the tickets that will be sold, mm -hmm. all the, uh, the revenue go, into go, go straight campaign. to the charity. Yeah. It's a charity um, event. And um, it's going to take place at the Laboma Beach mm -hmm. um, sometime in October. Mm -hmm. And after that, we'll, we'll do, make a donation okay. to the various hospitals. Okay. But uh, this Friday, uh, in partnership with the Ghana Kidney Association mm -hmm. and the Renal Patient Association of Ghana, we are having um, a talk on X to talk about kidney health mm -hmm. and to demystify uh, some of the issues regarding kidney health because mm -hmm. people think that um, people that are suffering from kidney health are as a result of bad lifestyle mm -hmm. but it is not that um, it can be genetics yeah. it can be infection mm -hmm. it can be so many things yeah. so we'll be having a conversation on x this friday um, at 8 p.m so um, i would urge everybody to you know be a part of it listen and learn more um, you just follow our handle at um, at One Heart Cares, mm -hmm. uh, just at One Heart Cares on Twitter and um, of currently X, mm -hmm. so that you'll be part of this conversation. So yes, in October, we're having a One Heart Music Festival at La Boma Beach. W would you like to share some of the artists that you have interacted with who are on board? Oh yeah, why not? Uh, well, gladly. So we have uh, Gasmela, we mm -hmm. have Regiraxon, okay. we have um, Ochiami Kwame, oh. we have Kamido, we have... Um, uh, the black, mm -hmm. we have uh, the gospel artist, uh, Kwesi Oteng. Kwesi Oteng. Yes, we have Kwesi Oteng. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, also, we also in talk with Akon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has expressed his interest, interest. in coming wow. on board as well. Wow, exactly. wow. Um, yeah, so a lot more uh, are, will, coming on board. are coming on board. Yeah. By the time we'll, we'll be done, I'm sure we'll have about 20 Almost, 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 almost everybody. But we want more. Yeah. Have you spoken yes, 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 have you spoken to Shatawali? We've not spoken so, so to each other Have you spoken so, so to Stoneboy? Not yet. But Sack or dear? Sack, not yet. Samini? We spoke to Samini. Daddy Numba? No, Daddy Numba. <laughs> so you see, they're... they're, they're yes. So no, I'm, you see, I'm saying yeah. all these things because these are people that yeah. have mass fans. Mass they have fans, yes, big yes, fan base yes, that yes. people love them. 
And if they are fronting such an, uh, a campaign yeah. with such a vision and objective, I mean, people will come on board. That's yeah. I'm just mentioning the names <laughs> like that. But, oh, yes, yeah. but they are, I mean, they were part of our yeah, hit list. But we just decided to start from somewhere, yeah. uh, get content, mm -hmm. and then we'll, we'll proceed. So okay. that you don't just, it doesn't become a whole mess. Okay, everybody's ready. And then, yeah. You know, Okay, so we've been speaking to Eugene, and Eugene is embarking on an interesting campaign, and it's about one people, one heart, one cause. He is trying to raise funds uh, for dialysis patients, and it is one heart for dialysis. It's a campaign that he's embarking on with his organization, with the help of other people. So if you're watching and you want to really, really support, you're going to put the number out yes, there yes, so that, yeah. like you said, when we are done with this conversation, People have to be on their phones, fast, sending fast, in. Fast, I mean, a hundred Ghana cities can go a long way. Can go a long yeah. way. Even can if it's not hundred, little drops of water, water makes, makes a mighty ocean. ocean. So even exactly. if it's your 20 Ghana cities, your 50 Ghana cities, you can just, just drop it. Have. So just drop let's it. just have the number. It's a 05, uh, 0530 mm -hmm. 08 mm -hmm. 9112. Mm -hmm. Two. Okay. Yes, it's an MTN. It's an MTN, now. yeah. And what yeah. name is attached to uh, the moment? One Hat. One, one Hat. hat. Oh, okay. One Hat. Yes. One Hat. But okay. sometimes it also, um, uh, uh, my name will pop up, okay. Eugene Osei. I don't know why. Uh, yes. And his Osei is O double S E I. I don't know why it's double S. But <laughs> Regroxon is also double S. Oh, yes. <laughs> I, I, all, I all know. I know of only Regroxon. I don't even pay attention to the Osei. I know there's Osei, but I don't check the other one. Yeah. Eugene, thank you very much. And I hope that this um, campaign becomes a success because it's coming from a good place. Yes. And I know that you, you love what you do, so yes. you actually push for this thing to go on further. Yeah, thank you very much. And also, what, whatever happens, you just let us get the... I also would like to say a very big thank you to uh, Metro TV thank you. for always giving us a platform mm -hmm. for uh, such courses. Mm -hmm. Last year, we were here to talk about um, young entrepreneurs yeah. and startups, and you gave us a platform. And so I just want to say thank you Thank you to your viewers as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you too. Okay. So he has put the number out 0530489112. Yes. And it will come as one hat or Eugene or so. So um, let, let's just start putting yeah, out something for Yes. At one, okay. Yeah, one hat cares.com. Okay. One hat cares.com. Okay. Thank you very much, Eugene. Yeah.